<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Scorpios. Um, I don't know why I was getting regret for you, okay? I feel like there is something you wish you could have did different or something you wish you could have said different. Um, I just feel regret, like heavy regret or light regret, but regret nonetheless. Um, you're going to overcome this, Scorpio, even though it may not seem like it um, as of right now. Um, the sun doesn't shine always, and the rain doesn't last forever. Um, turn up the, I was hearing, um, turn up the bass so you could be heard, okay? Um, sing a different melody so they can understand, is what I also was hearing. Um, whatever you do, do it from the heart and make a decision that is true to who you are. Who you know you are. Be free and let it flow. You'll notice that it happens effortlessly. Okay? So, y'all, 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 whatever that is for you, Scorpio. <laughs> whatever that is. So, let's see. What is the name of your video, though? I do want to know that. I don't know. Some shoulda, coulda, woulda. Regretfulness. I don't know. What to call it? But I know I'll figure it out when I'm uploading it. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Okay. Um... Here we are, back to do the weeklies. And I'm sorry that I didn't make it to y'all last so last week. So that's why I got y'all up second instead of second to last. Because <laughs> it's the least I can do. Because, you know, shit happens in life. And I, I try to be as consistent as I possibly can. Because I, if I say it, my word is fine. If I say it, then I mean it. So, sometimes, you know, I don't know. I'm steer clear, steering clear of everything. But my cousin was in town, and you know she doesn't visit that often. And I was doing some other shit too. You no, know, I just basically should have kept up with my time, but I didn't. So shit happens. And here I am putting you guys second because I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Universe, God, universe, God, God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. Please give us clear and precise messages. For the collective of Scorpio, please. Clear and precise messages to Scorpio. What messages do we have for Scorpio, please? Messages for Scorpio. Excuse me. Message for Scorpio. Okay, so. Abundance. Coming out for you. And then meditation brings answers. Okay. So, you could be looking for an answer. And they're telling you that um, meditation could bring an answer that you possibly could be looking for. Now, let's get you a self-care card. I'm trying not to be, be forever this week. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. Please give us some sacred and some health care messages for Scorpio. Sacred self care messages for Scorpio. I'm sorry, y'all. My uh, my candle is going out. So before it goes completely out and I don't have any fire, <laughs> let me try to light this other one. I know I need to get some new ones. I made this one myself, so I know that wig gonna go all the way down. This one I bought from somewhere. It's got a dead little fly in there. But I don't want, you know, I need it to stay lit while I'm doing my 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 due diligence. I need that fire. <laughs> so, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Sacred messages for self-care. Scorpio. Self-care messages for Scorpio, please. A beauty ritual. Pampering yourself. Pampering yourself. Okay, doing your hair, doing your nails, putting your feet in the water, taking a bath, chilling with your crystals, whatever, you know, makes you feel good and empowered. Okay, beauty ritual. Cleanse your face. You know, it's just basically making it all about you. For women, we could do that, but men, I don't know what y'all would do. Maybe go get a beard, a facial, or something like that, but then you can also make a meal. So we got beauty ritual and make a meal to help self-care this week. Okay. Eight of cups in reverse falling on the floor. 
from the bottom of the deck. For three messages to get a little overall for message for Scorpio. Three cards for a little overall message for Scorpio, please. Three cards for a little overall message for Scorpio. Three cards for a little overall message for Scorpio. Three cards for a little overall message for Scorpio. Okay. Five of Swords starting it off. Regret. Conflict. Betrayal. Three of Wands. Waiting. Being patient. Waiting on your ships to come in or selling upon the future. And the Four of Wands, which is um, stability. But in this spot, this Four of Wands, this lady is reaching for somebody that cannot go. So she's reaching for stability with a person that cannot give her stability. Or you could also be reaching to try to take somebody with you that is not allowed to go. Bottom of the deck, the page of swords, the page of pentacles, and the ten of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like um, you could want some kind of long-term foundation. Okay? Or feel like you missed the opportunity with somebody that could have gave you a long-term foundation. But um, perception, there's possibly a new perception in order to need it in order to see the potential in something. Okay? So, mm, it's alright. Let's get them blind out. Y'all see that? Mm. Okay, so let's see. What messages do we have for Scorpio, please? Messages for Scorpio. I'm trying to keep them short this week. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Yeah, Libras was 33 minutes. And I'm like, no, nah, it wasn't short. I'm trying to stay in the 20s this week, but we'll see what happens. Sudden wealth come out for you. Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Sudden wealth after a period of despair. And not higher. And that looks like that this person was having despair in his um with the concern card. Having um despair and not having a hard time finding a job, but sudden wealth comes in after the period of you having a hard time. Okay, and then boom, aha moment strikes. So say this is not money. Um you've been in a period of despair despair and then you know, down on your luck. You couldn't figure this out, you couldn't find a job, you couldn't find love, but then Aha, uh -huh. sudden you sudden struck struck of wealth comes in. Okay. And then concern. Boom. Sudden wealth, despair, concern, yeah. Family room, marriage on the bottom of the deck. Maybe you suddenly get wealthy and now somebody wanna get married or somebody wanna be with you. Because possibly they in despair, okay? And now your family's concerned. Or your people around you's concerned, okay? It does say here that this person doesn't offer stability. One of these people don't offer stability and the other one's still reaching. Okay? So let's get into it. God, universe, angels, and spirit guys. Why is sudden wealth here for Scorpio? Why sudden wealth here? What's the sudden wealth for Scorpio? Clarify the sudden wealth for Scorpio, please. Sudden wealth. Clarify this for Scorpio. Sudden wealth. Why is the sudden wealth here for Scorpio? Clarify the sudden wealth for Scorpio, please. Tell us about the sudden wealth. What's the sudden wealth for Scorpio? Why is the sudden wealth here? Clarify the sudden wealth for Scorpio. What's sudden wealth? Why is sudden wealth here? Clarify the sudden wealth. Okay, it looks like two of swords reverse coming out of confusion. Okay, realizing you have all the tools you need to manifest. Okay, standing your ground. Fighting off other people's opinions or overcoming conflict. Okay, but I feel like you're coming out of confusion. It's like you struck struck the pie to gold because now you no longer confuse it. You see exactly how things should work now. You realize you can see it. You can see it with your third eye. You can see exactly how things are supposed to work. Or you, and also, you have all the tools you need to manifest. And I feel like that causes a problem for somebody. Why? Because they jealous. They upset because they might not manifest as good as you. Or they might still be confused. Or maybe the wealth ain't as sudden for them. Okay, or possibly because they're in despair and you're not. Why is despair here for Scorpio? What's this despair? Clarify this despair for Scorpio, please. Why is despair here? Tell us about despair. Tell us about despair. Tell us about despair. 
Let's despair here. Or maybe you. You. That's what it was. Could have been too. It could have been you. You was the one in despair, okay? You was the one down on your luck and didn't have nothing but loyalty of your dog, okay? And then sudden wealth strike, okay? Bought you out of that. Bought you out of despair, okay? Made you the magician, okay? And now people want stuff from you. They realize you got all the stuff. Now they want to ask. And you defending it. Like, no, when I ain't have no, when I didn't have nothing but the loyalty of my dog, wasn't nobody there. I didn't have nobody. I was disappointed. Wasn't nobody there for me, death card. <coughs> despair and now that I all of a sudden got sudden wealth everybody got something to say and it could have been somebody too that passed over okay that left you something and you the way the last thing y'all talked about was you know it was not so um <coughs> so positive and now you wish you would have said something different. You wish you would have acted different. You wish you, you know you're feeling regretful and in despair. Disappointed because um, you wish you would have did something different. You wish you would have did something different. Maybe you were scared or you was toxic or this person. You felt like they were, that this is how you, feel, you viewed them. So you acted the way you acted. But now you got this brand new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles here. But on despair, clarifying despair, we have the five of cups, the seven of pentacles, and the devil. This is all low vibration. And then 32 for despair, that's a five. So this could also be representative of your thoughts and your abilities. Like somebody around you is just negative all the time, okay? Negative, 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 Nancy. And you want something new, fresh new energy. Selling the pawn because, and probably even telling this person, look, I'm going to go into solitude from you because your negativity, I'm trying to get places, okay? I'm trying to keep balance and not negativity. Concern, why is concern here for? Excuse me, Scorpio. So you're making these decisions that are best for yourself because... You might care, you don't really give a damn about your friends, but you can't, them, 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 them lack mentalities just do nothing but drag you down. Why is concern here? I don't feel like this concern is yours, though. I feel like this is, this is, this concern is for the, whoever this person is that you might be cutting off. It could have been a relationship, too. But I feel like it could have been a friendship or this could have been something found out, okay? But I feel like this concern is for you. This somebody's concerned. Concerned that you're going to go off, you know, and have fruition. And they're not going to get to take no part in it with the Six of Wands reverse, okay? So then they're feeling guarded. they guarded, feeling entitled possibly because you're moving forward. And that shows concern. That's, you, that's, how you, that's probably how you notice this person being in despair. Look at them conflicted. They, they're, they're, they're trying to put in obstacles cause cause defeat cause, cause you to admit defeat and you're not admit defeat you're moving forward so now they they are defeated because you're walking away from this no vibration negative energy i don't know who this is if it's a parent a friend or whoever that is but they they do they do need to go okay so let's clarify this over here because look more more conflict like you ain't been dealing with enough why is five of swords here Clarify this five of swords for Scorpio. What is this conflict? The, the conflict just seems to be following you, Scorpio. No matter what you do or how you try, it seems to be following you. Why is this five of swords here, Scorpio? Five of swords. Why is that here for Scorpio? Yeah, because you made a decision. You overcome. And now you're just waiting to see what happens. And I feel like that's what the sudden. I don't know how what order this happened. Yeah. There it is. You're making a decision. Standing your ground, being guarded, putting your wall up. But also being illuminated and have the knowledge you need. Okay. To move forward, it could be healing the situation, but I also feel like this is a this is illumination. To show you, look, 
My feather just fell. I don't know what that's supposed to mean for you. Hanging on by a feather. Thin as light as a feather. Birds of a feather, they flock together. I don't know. Some That could be something to somebody. I don't know. But you got your clarity. And with this clarity, that's what I feel like this star card is the illumination that you needed in order to make this decision because you was too guarded. Or maybe you missed something along the way, but you made, you made your decision and now you're just waiting on your ships to come in. What is this three of wands waiting? Why is three of wands here? Three of wands. Sun card on the bottom of the deck. Something is something is happening here that's gonna make you really happy at some point. Whatever, whichever you waiting on. You be waiting to plant the seed. You could be waiting on um this this whatever this gift that you feel like the universe is giving you, and that could be that could be the sudden wealth. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles that you know is coming. Fast communications. Okay, about possibly assessing reassessing because you feel like you missed the opportunity speaking some communication about you know um wanting to invest in a situation maybe wanting to partner in, in an investment okay but um what's this four of wands though why is this four of wands here Four wands. Why is that here for Scorpio? Four wands. Okay, yeah. Cause it's, it's like you're coming out of confusion. You're coming out. You're trying to come out of confusion. To come out your your thoughts process because you want to have something stable. That's what you're reaching for. You're reaching for something stable, and you want it to be luck. But you don't want to be. Um, you don't want to end up confused, and you don't want to end up attached and. In, in anxiety and you don't want to end up in a bad situation again so you might be holding yourself back a little bit from whatever this is is this love or what new beginning maybe being confident and coming in here and saying something what is this Scorpio I don't know I don't know what y'all got going on right here but there's definitely something wanting to be invested in and it's been thought over and it's like you got your eye on it you focused on it waiting on your opportunity because you got your sign because you realize what it is or something like that why is abundance here and this is the two of pentacles coming out that's exactly what it be it could be your abundance and it could be why you acting out like this because you know what's going on and i don't uh -huh. why is abundance here yeah i'm here it's my shot whatever that means it's your shot okay you only get one shot do not miss your chance to run i'm not gonna keep all that two of pentacles eight of pentacles equals ten of pentacles abundance yep that's what you're headed to abundance and it could be um the kind of abundance that makes you a king of pentacles type husband okay but it's gonna be making you very wealthy whatever this abundance is abundance is coming you're headed towards abundance this, this bringing balance it brings working together and working on and having the ten of pentacles okay it also brings in some unknown but you it, you got to use your intuition to let you to let guide you you're moving forward okay i'm moving forward from being in the code possibly i don't know meditation brings answers could have been on your situation with somebody could have been on the rocks and now y'all break yeah yeah y'all y'all bring y'all uh making up i'm breaking up <laughs> making up or breaking up but six of cups on the bottom with the three of cups six of cups three of cups makes a wish fulfillment okay wish fulfillment and the two of cups your ship's selling in waiting you taking the leap of faith and standing your ground okay 
charging in passionately towards the lovers because it's a wish and a hope and a dream and you see the light at the end of the tunnel and there could have been some deception I don't know sneaking away hiding with the three of swords but that's over because it's the ten of swords and justice is here to balance out the skills of you might be the one bringing in the emotional offer to this somebody that says hey I'm happy I, I want I know I want you and I don't want nothing else <laughs> so there's good bring meditation brings answers okay so this is what is very happen a cycles very close a cycles very close the ending then what is the cycle closing the old cycle where a new cycle is open okay cycle closure boom that take that puts the end into the very slow movement of the knight of pentacles okay boom judgment call decision being made or decision being changed and remade temperance coming in to bring the balance okay so something is happening here and this is still the hermit at the bottom well i'm not gonna shuffle it up seeing the light at the end of the tunnel that this is a wish fulfillment you shining your light on the wish fulfillment and then choosing it call going to karma waters look at that six of swords king of wands karma waters the sun card yeah i don't even do my cards like this but i'm just about to see what's on the top of this deck Selling away to Karma Waters, taking charge or leadership role in a situation, having the, the ultimate happiness with the Sun card, justice being served with the Justice card, putting them burdens down, the burdens of holding yourself back because you realize this is your wish, your hope, and you need to, or you're illuminated. And there is the potential of something, something long standing, something. That could be nourished, something that could nourish you, something that you can invest in, something that you could um, keep, something that's inspiring, something that fulfills your cup emotionally. Brand new beginning, something that's passionate to you, but you're stuck in your mind. And that's the cycle. The cycle's ending. Yep, King of Cups, there you are. The cycle's ending where you're stuck in your mind. The cycle's ending when you deceive yourself or deceive, let your thoughts deceive you. You're walking away from deception here. Um, for a source retreating, walking away from the deception. Hit following your intuition. Oh, yeah. There's the Scorpio card. And this could also be retreating from the confusion or the illusion. Follow your intuition. Ending or transforming. Yep, the confusion. Nine of Cups. More communication. About a reconciliation and wanting to put the work in because they feel a deep connection and they possibly was not given equal in the past, was not given equal give and take. Now they stated that gave them anxiety, they want to work together, have higher levels of commitment, balance out the situation, come out the cold. <coughs> Don't know what all that is. Don't even know who that is. Could be you, could be them, Scorpio. You know. Okay? So, yeah. And that's what I got for you guys this week. And I hope it helped. So, good luck with this. What's that card? Yeah. Make sure you follow your intuition. This is the card flipped over in my deck. Whatever this is going on, make sure you follow your intuition. Look at that. Make sure you follow your intuition. And make sure that the, the give and take is equal. Make sure you make the decision that is best for you. Why is all the cards flipping over like this? Did I do this? What did I do? You might not be trying to hear this, Scorpio. How did I do this? Hmm. I hope this helped you guys. And if it did resonate with you guys, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel as I would love to have you as a subscriber. And um, as of now, I do post weekly, but some, change or, some things are about to change here when I get, um, you know, when I get all my ideas and everything. I'm going to be moving to um, um, 
possibly monthlies, or I don't know if I'm going to be doing every other week or just once a month. But I will still be doing weeklies, but I will not. I, it'll be more moving to like a member something. Something like, you know, a member subscription or something. So it'll be like that. But for now, I, I post every week until uh, that changes. Because I will be implementing new things in this in my channel this year. And I will be having a new channel. Okay. I will have a new channel in it. Well, I do have a new channel and it's called Anthony's Talks. Okay. But it has not. I'm not up and progressing it yet. But I am going to air out a lot of things. I'm going to have so many. I got a lot of testimonies to give in my life. And I'll. You know, a lot of things that happen to me in life. And some things happen to me that I'm sure is happening to other people out there. And they probably, you know, don't see how they're going to make it through it. Or couldn't see how they could have made it through it. But I want to the, I wanna be the, part, the voice to let them know that if I can do it, they can too. So, yeah. That's what I got with that. So, yeah, Scorpio, that's what I got. I love you guys. Good luck. I'll see you guys soon. Namaste. Peace.